It's that time again. It's time for another Saturday night special. Ugh. Hello? Oh, hey, what's up? How's work going today? That's good. Now I just started to make a video. Um, what, what were you thinking you wanted to do for dinner tonight? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I can make pizza. That sounds good. Cool. I'll, I'll start on that. Um, do you want to stop by the store? Yeah, I'll, I'll look. I'll look. Cool. Love you. Bye. Hmm. Pizza. Well, let's see. There we go. I think we have the ingredients here. This should work. I've done all my cutting of slabs. I think uh, this is going to look pretty good. I've already done some of the layout. Let me walk you through this a little bit. So we're going to have some Jasper pizza crust. You can see I'm going to be cutting this triangle out right here. This portion is going to be the crust. The crust is going to be this end cut of Jasper. That Since that matches up, right, it's going to be like that. We'll do some profiling and rounding on that. We're going to have some red marble pepperoni. We're going to have some rhyolite cheese. It's kind of cheese colored, I guess. It'll look good, I think, when it's all polished up and done. We're going to have some serpentine pepper and some white marble onion. All that's left now is, well, <laughs> we got a lot of cutting, polishing, and assembly to do. Uh, I'm thankful, though, that it won't be out here in this shop. It's going to be in my basement because it's really, really cold right now. Let's get to work. So I cut out the wedge already. Uh, I had to do that with the camera off because I had to take my spray guard off. And, well, <laughs> without the spray guard, you, everything kind of gets pretty wet. Uh, I ground down the little pieces that chipped off on the slab saw. This right here is the crust. It did break on a natural fracture, but we're going to be gluing that so it's not, not the end of the world. So that's going to go just like this and fit right up like there. We're going to have multiple glue-up sessions to deal with. You can kind of see what that's going to look like. We're going to start by gluing the crust pieces back together. We're going to radius this edge, and then it's going to get glued down and well. Then we're going to be getting the cheese layer, and it's going to look like that. And then we're going to get the toppings. Everything's going to get polished. Everything's going to get cut up. It's going to be a massive amount of work, but uh, I think uh, I think I can, I can do this here. Um, the pizza cheese, I've decided I'm going to cut this into chunks. I'm going to polish those chunks. Then we're going to slice the polished pieces and uh, glue them down like that. So it kind of looks like shredded cheese. The other pieces that we have to cut here, we have to still cut out our pepperoni pieces and we'll be thinning those up a little bit. Not on the saw, but on the flat lap. The onion and pepper. We're going to be just cutting these into strips, but like the cheese, I'm going to be cutting it into chunks. We're going to be putting it on dop sticks, taking it over to the wheel, and then coming back and slicing it. So a lot of steps to do here. I'm going to try to finish up the saw work right now, and uh, we'll have to be waiting for glue. Since we're going to be taking the cheese slices over to the flat lap and cutting it into chunks, I'm just going to cut this into to fours. As you can see, I've <laughs> done a fair amount of cutting. I switched blades over to the Super Slicer blade, and the reason for that is we need to cut a little bit closer to our lines here now. And uh, the Super Slicer blades seem to chip out less. 
So I'm just going to knock these tips off so that we can start taking stuff over to the grinder and getting it down to our pencil lines. Thankfully, we're making a pizza here, and it doesn't have to be perfect. Pizzas aren't perfect. Uh, as far as the other rocks go, I'll probably be grinding the exterior of the rock off. Uh, I'm not... That, if you're going to have fractures in a rock, it's going to be where the outside of the rock was. So just to be on the safe side, I'm going to get rid of all of it. And just like that, I'm going to keep working my way around them. Okay, so I made some off-video progress, as you can see here. Uh, the reason I made off-video progress on the project and didn't share it was, well, I didn't know what I was doing. So a lot of trial and error. You can see the Rhyolite cheese up here now. And of course, there's seams where things didn't quite want to fit together uh, just right. And, you know, first pancake, right? But we're going to hide those with uh, some of these. These are going to be the toppings that are going to be on here. So as you can see, these are quite thick. So to start, the plan is I'm going to be thinning these out on the flat lap, 80 grit, work my way up through the polish. They don't have to be uh, perfectly round, but I'm going to get them pretty round. Some of them we're going to cut in half, so it would be like the slice was, uh, well, cut out of, a, out of a whole pie, and we'll be doing some of that. we got to polish up these guys, and uh, we'll take little bits off of that later on the saw, and it uh, should be pretty good. Here is all of the toppings laid out on here loosely. I, I like the way that looks. We got a couple of extra pieces in case anything went wrong. I just got to glue it down using uh, this right here. We're using some E6000 jewelry and bead glue with a little applicator. It uh, should go pretty smoothly. And uh, I'll just let this do the full cure time of 72 hours. I know that there's better adhesives out there, but for something like this where it's only going to be something that you just look at, I think uh, the E6000 will, will be great. You can't eat that. So let's look at this up close here. You can see it's all very nice and, and polished up. Uh, obviously mistakes were made on this. Uh, first, you know, first pancake goes to the dog, right? Well, I guess you could stay, say the same for a, a, a piece of pizza made from a rock, but um, I'm pretty pretty happy with it. You know, uh, ideally, I would have had some better machines that would have allowed me to do the cheese uh, polishing in one piece, but it wouldn't fit on my high tech flat lap. Uh, other than that, um, there's I would have done the the toppings differently as well i think um i would have wanted to do olives black olives but i don't really have the capability of ma drilling out the holes and then uh also i thought mushrooms would have been really cool like cut out the shapes on a uh, something like the inland band saw but i don't have that and then uh you know polish up the polish them up flat or to uh vibratory tumble it but um overall uh i think it, it came out good so i just want to take a second and thank theo for putting together the whole makers challenge thing i thought it was really fun and i'm hoping hoping that it can become an annual thing definitely check out all the other creators out there that have um, put together videos for the for the makers challenge it's so awesome to see the cool projects that people are putting together 
And most importantly, I finally have some custom lapidary stone jewelry that I can wear to different events and formal occasions. So, if you like this content, hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, you know, maybe you could drop a comment down there, let me know what your favorite type of pizza is. So, uh, hey everyone, thanks, take care.